All right, I put a black, uh, a piece, white piece of paper behind uh, these armatures here. Uh, these are the armatures I created for my uh, instructional DVD on two DVD set uh, about creating armatures. And uh, you can check out the uh, review of that uh, video down below at a link that I've got there to take you to a page where all nine of my instructional DVDs are listed. But anyway, I'm, I'm taking one of those armatures and uh, I started put monster clay on it a while back. And I thought, I wanna get away from Crazy Horse for a while and work on these horses and work out uh, their movement uh, and all that stuff and put it together. Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today. And I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, click the bell, and make a comment in my videos, and check out my instructional DVDs, which are linked below this uh, video. All right, let's get on with today's video. I was going to work on this studio yesterday, and I just never got to it because I just couldn't concentrate. It just uh, was a tough day yesterday and the day before, and if you don't know what's going on, I got a video uh, that I did made yesterday that talked about it. Um, I'm also putting a link into this, uh, underneath this video, uh, not only to my nine uh, instructional DVDs, but uh, one to a GoFundMe page for my daughter, Heidi, um, who's in the hospital and has been there for about two months now. Anyway, if you can donate anything, it would be so appreciated. All right, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do. Um, I did this in... Uh, uh, horse here uh, from one of the armatures I made for that instructional DVD and uh, I'm going to put muscles on it and everything like that but first I think I'm going to start doing the uh, adding the clay to uh, these two figures as well I, I thought I had a fourth but I guess I don't um but anyway, I'm going to work on that uh, today and uh, get as far as I can. I'm feeling a little bit better. There's some positive stuff out there um, about uh, what my daughter's going through. And uh, you'll know what she's going through when you see the GoFundMe page. It's, it's a real uh, bad cancer, and it's cancer of the bone. And uh, she's opting out of chemo. Because she, if she goes, she wants to go with dignity, and I have to respect her for that. She's old enough to make her own decisions, and I'm trying to find other forms of uh, treatments for her. Uh, and uh, some of them are, could have good possibilities, and some are a little far-fetched. But uh, I'm just passing them on to her and let her or help her research. All right, I'm gonna get started on this one here, I think, and then this, this one here and start putting clay on the... Uh... I am softening up my monster clay, as you can see, and uh, it's underneath the 100-watt uh, bulb, which is about, oh, probably six inches off uh, the uh, clay, so it doesn't get all melty, but it's, it's soft enough to work with. And so that's what I'm gonna work with today. I'm doing this with monster clay for the first time, so excuse me if I make a lot of mistakes. Whoop! All right, I'm gonna get working here. All right, finally got this set up. It's taken me a couple hours to figure out how I'm gonna do this uh, so I can get this on camera. I'm not gonna show you everything because uh, I've got uh, DVDs on how to sculpt a horse and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not going to give out that information here. But I am going to start adding clay to it and I'll come back 
Um, I don't know how much we'll be able to get done because quite honestly, uh, it's been a long, ooh, it's raining outside. Um, it's been a long getting set up and figuring out what I'm going to do. And, uh, so I'm going to go as far as I can. I've got to quit at some point and make my dinner because I got nobody else to do it for me. So I got to do it for myself. Um, I made this so that I can turn it right here close to me and I can see uh, better when it's closer to me and uh, it is small uh, let's see I'll give you the uh, length and height of the horse the horse is uh, about five inches uh, by four, about five inches by five inches. <laughs> and so, of course, the first thing I do, and this monster clay isn't quite warm enough yet because I had to light a bit too far away from it. But the way I start is I just uh, start by adding clay to the uh, armature that I've made. And it's the reason I make my armature the way I do, so that uh, there's a lot of support for the clay. Oh, would help to have some light on it. There we go. It's amazing what a little light can do. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding clay to this. And uh, what I'm basically doing is just sketching in... Uh, the anatomy not worrying about the muscles right now just getting the movement down I may have to put a hundred watt bulb in one of my overhead lights to uh, soften the clay when I need to soften it but uh, we'll figure that out when I get to that point because as you who have worked with Monster Clay know, it gets a little hard. There we go. I like that better. Now I've got my maquette behind here. And it's one that I got from, it's one by an artist friend of mine. They sell them online. I just don't know where you can buy them because... Uh, he no longer sells them. He's turned over the uh, the whole thing to another company. And so uh, they're not cheap. I can tell you that right now. But it, it was a it's a good reference for the uh, bone structure and uh, the muscles. It's a lot easier to visualize if you've got it actually in three dimension. You can find enough three-dimensional depictions of uh, muscle and our animal anatomy on online uh, three uh, from uh, whatever that 3D program is that they use. I can't think of it right now. ZBrush, I think that's it. There's a lot of reference that you can get offline. All I'm trying to do is build up the uh, rib cage right now a little bit, not totally, but just get it filled in and started. As you, as you can see, I used a small wooden dowel to uh, support the clay, and that works out fine.
if I hit the uh, camera with my arm, I'm sorry, but I get the camera real close to where I'm working. <laughs> Trying to get as close as I can so you got a good visual of what I'm doing. But if you want to know how to make these armatures the way I've uh, devised and developed over the years, and like I said, I've been sculpting horses and people for, well, since 1965, off and on. There were four years in the Navy that uh, sort of put a damper on my art career. Although I cartooned a lot in the, in the Navy. I uh, was editor of a ship's magazine when I was on the uh, USS Lexington, which is an aircraft carrier that now is a museum in Corpus Christi Harbor, Corpus Christi, Texas. So you might say I'm a museum piece because I <laughs> was on board that ship. All right, I'm going to cut it here, come back tomorrow and work on it. I'm going to get a 100-watt bulb and put it in one of my overhead lights. i got two of them, and uh, that way I can soften up the clay if I need to in certain areas. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.